Welcome to Kid Bits, a place for kids learn to be creative thinkers. I'm your host, Zoe Brown, along with my sister, Alani Brown. Hi! I love it when my mom buys me STEM kits. Remember, STEM stands for science, technology, engineering, and math. So I decided, why not make a video videos reviewing STEM kits? Today, he, right here, is my seven-point checklist of what a good STEM kit looks like. Number one, does it have all the materials? Number two, are all the materials a good quality? Number three, does it include clear instructions for each activity? Number four, does it have background information about the experiment? Number five, does it include at least two parts of STEM? Number six, can the experiments help you in everyday life? Number seven, and the most important one, is it fun? So, that's my seven point checklist. So let's get started. Our first STEM kit is the Science Magic Kit by National Geographic. Ooh, look at all the pictures on it. Right here it says ages eight and older. Let's open it up. Nice, easy open. Nice. already opened the packages from our previous experiments. Whoa. It comes with a Science Magic Kit experiment guide. Bonus! It says, it's not magic, it's just really cool science. Get to know your tools. Okay, let's get ready. Ooh. First, you get your piping. Nothing in it. So, the pipe I must be in here. I'm so excited. Me too. Oh, there you the are. are. Number two, your paper cups. Paper cups. Number three, your clear cups. No gloves. Number four, your beaker. A little beaker right here. Number five, my magic wand. Abracadabra! Ooh, exciting. Number seven, cotton gloves. So fuzzy. <laughs> yeah, they are fuzzy. Can we open them on? Not yet. Number eight, a big scoop. Must be in the box. Ooh. There you are. Medium scoop right next to it. Ten, your small scoop. Oh, there you go. Where did you go? Small scoop. Where did you go? It's okay. There you are. Small scoop. It's so tiny that. Super tiny. Next, and finally, your copper coins. So you have a few packets. Ooh, it also has a few extra. It has hydrophobic sand. And instant snuff. Six, all of our materials. And now, let's figure out which one we should do. Also, you have these packets. It says, you have baking soda. You have baking soda. Baking soda. Red cabbage powder. And your citric sand. Be careful with the citric sand and red cabbage powder. There. This is my dye or skin. Mm -hmm. So be careful, everyone. So, now let's figure out which one we should do. Contra colors. Make it blue. Ooh, look at this one. It's super cool. It's called the Magic Beaker. I wonder what's magic about it. What to do before you perform the trick? 
Add 10 milliliter of warm water and one big scoop of citric acid to a clear cup. Mix until the powder is dissolved. This is your acidic solution and bread cup. So here's my, but well first we need to get all the stuff from the kit, red cabbage powder. Oh, it looks like we need all, all of the packets, the three clear cups. I'm so excited. Me too. The one small scoop, itty bitty scoopy, mm. and the big scoop. Mm. It's okay if we have the medium scoop with it. Not yet. And your beaker, right here. Beaker. What you need to get is warm water. <clears throat> Don't worry. Step one. Add 10 milliliter of warm water and one big scoop of citric acid to a clear cup. Mix until powder is dissolved. This is your acidic solution and red cup. So I'm going to get my citric acid. Make the hole a little bit big. Grab my big scoop. No lid in there. <laughs> yep. Put it in. Put it measure carefully. And now, let me just grab my warm cup, my warm water, 10 milliliter, pour it in, Ooh. flip it down, and start stirring. Cool, right? Mm -hmm. It might take a while, um, yeah, it might take a while to dissolve, but it is totally worth it. You don't hear much crunching, so it must mean it's almost done. There we go. Com nearly completely dissolved. And a few more specks. Excited line. Mm -hmm. I wonder what it's going to do. And done. Done. Set it to the side. Mm. Step two. We add 10 milliliter of warm water and one big scoop of baking soda to another clear cup. Mix it well until powder is dissolved. This is your base solution and blue cup. Let me get it. It says baking soda. Baking soda. My citric right acid. There. Thank you. You're welcome. One big scoop of, citric, of baking soda. Dip it in. Measure carefully. There we go. Yeah, you just have to get the water. Here we go. Now, pour it in. Whoa, it all is like dissolves right away. But you still hear the bunch of filling is not done yet. Whoa, it's like it's a white powder. I'm conjuring a white powder. I'm going to make it snow. <laughs> I wonder if it's nearly done. Oh, bit more. I wonder what it's going to turn into. It might take a while to um, dissolve. dissolve. But it is very exciting. And it's worth it. Yep, very worth it. Just a few more spins. Spin, 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 spin. And done. Spin, 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 spin. Now amaze your audience. Add one small scoop of red cabbage powder to the beaker and fill it with 50 milliliter of water. Stir the powder until it's completely dissolved. This deep purple liquid is your pH indicator. <clears throat> red cabbage powder. Careful. One big scoop of it. Don't spill a drop. Mm -hmm. Nope, too little. Is it too much? Just right. right. Yep, just right. Now let me just go. 
Now oh. let me just grab my big pig. Place it in. Oh. It's turning purple! It like turned purple immediately. Let's keep scaring. Exciting. Wow, this is like a very, very deep purple. Wow, even the spoon turned purple. Amazing. Ooh, bubbly. So cool. Number four, put the beaker and clear cups on the table. Ask your audience which two colors make purple. When they say red and blue, reveal you have a magic beaker that separates colors. Say red out loud and pour some red, some indicator into the cup with a citric acid solution. The solution turns red. Remember, make, sh make sure you remember which one is which. Red! red. Whoa! It turned completely red. That is amazing. Now let's just stir it in. Awesome. Even a spoon turns red. Yep. Next. Have this. <laughs> Step number six. Say blue out loud and pour some indicator into the cup with baking soda solution. The solution turns blue. Okay, everyone. Ready? Say it with me. Blue! Ooh, Whoa! Blue. Add some more. To the color red. Now mix it up. Mm -hmm. That's super cool. Oh, turn red. Perfect. Nice blue. Last step. Step number seven. Now tell the audience you can change the liquid back to purple. Pour the red and blue cups into the empty clear cup at the same time. And science magic. The liquid changes back to purple with a fizzy reaction. Wait. Fizzy reaction. Let's see. Ready? Everyone ready? Yes. Three, two, one. Whoa! It exploded. So cool. Awesome. It's bubbly. Oh, and it has a little paragraph after it. It says, why did that happen? We learned in the previous experiments why pH indicator changes color when it interacts with acids and bases. The fizzing happens because the solution releases carbon dioxide as part of the chemical reaction. The final step produces a big bubbly reaction. You might want to do it over a plate or baking tray for easy cleanup, just as we did. I, re I really hope that you liked it. <laughs> and Lonnie is still trying to get some more fizzy. Now it's time to rate the STEM kit. Number one, does it have all the materials? It clearly does. Number two, are all the materials in good quality? Of course, if it can withstand that. Number three, does it include clear instructions for each activity? Yes, it does. Number four, does it have background information about the experiment? What we just read, yes. Number five, does it include at least two parts of STEM? Yeah, of course. It includes science and math, the measuring. Number six, can the experiments help you in everyday life? Yes, they can. Number seven, and most important, is it fun? We just saw it explode. Of course it is fun. So on a scale of one to seven, I would give the Science Magic Kit a seven. Catch me on the next episode of Kid Bits with Zoe Brown.